my name's Craig. It's six o'clock. It's time for a magic live. Now today I'm here with Luke. How you doing, buddy? And uh, I'm going to do a routine that um, it's a three phase routine. The first two phases and the actual premise behind the whole routine is from uh, Matt Baker. Uh, from his book, The Buddha Vista Shuffle Club. The final phase is from Order to Amaze by Pitt Hartman. So there you go. Uh, let's have a look at it. I'm, I'm, um, Luke, we're going to do something here. You know that I, I do a lot of card magic, right? Yes. A lot of people ask me, how do you become a card magician? Yeah. Well, the answer is you have to go to this place called Card School. You ever heard of Card School before? No, no. You go to Card School, and when you've been to Card School, you will learn how to actually be a card magician. But there's three things that you've got to be able to learn at card school. And until you do those three things, you can't graduate. Right. And when you've done the first thing, you then move on to the second thing, you then move on to the third thing. So the first thing that you have to learn at card school, the first important thing, is estimation. Which is the art of estimating how many cards people cut. And it looks like this. Cut about half the deck. It can be less, it can be more. It's totally up to you. Uh, but cut some cards into my hand. And if I just weigh these... Uh, I can tell you there's 16 cards. Take them and deal them face up onto the table one at a time and one, count them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right. Now, you've got to be able to do that every single time. Even doing that, it. Mate. Well, one time would be a fluke. It's, it's the first lesson in card school. You have to do it every single time immediately just by weighing the cards. So cut a few cards. It can be a few. It can be a lot. It's totally up to you. See, that's, that. ooh, couple less, there's 14 there. 14? Yeah. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, so when you can do that every single time, mm -hmm. that is phase one. That's the first thing that you learn in card college. Right. Okay. Now, the second class that you then have to learn, once you've learned est estimation, the second thing that you have to learn is you have to be able to have someone give you a number and instantly be able to cut that many cards. So you just have to... So, for example, if you said 13, I would do that. Boom. And there's 13 cards there. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Which is crazy, right? Now, the thing <laughs> is, I said the number 13, so maybe this, somehow I was cheating or something. But so you give me a number. Give me a, a, a number. You can be in the middle, slightly higher, slightly lower. I don't really care. It's 22. Tough. 22, you sure? Yeah. That's kind of, that's, that's a bit tough. That's probably around about there. 22. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. There you go. <laughs> um, so when you've learned that, you then go on to the third part. Now, the third part, very few people can do. It's why so many few people actually pass card college, you see. Okay. The third thing, the hardest thing, um, is that you've got to be able to predict the number of cards somebody would cut before they even cut them. Okay. So I'm going to predict how many cards you're going to cut in a bit. I'm going to get you to cut, uh, you know, it can be, I don't know, somewhere in the middle. It can be less than somewhere in the middle. It can be like anywhere between 10 and 30 cards, something like that. And I'm going to predict exactly where you cut. Now, the problem is, if I said you're going to cut 11 cards, you could purposefully screw me up by cutting a whole bunch. So what I'll do is I'll make a prediction. I'm going to take out three cards. And when you add the value of these three cards together, the total will come to the amount of cards you're going to cut. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking. For... I think that's right. The total of these three cards will come to the amount of cards you're going to cut. Seriously. So what I want you to do is, is cut into my hand. Are you, are you happy here? You can put them back if you want to. I don't know. No, I'm happy with that. Man. You're happy. So hold on to them for a minute. Mm -hmm. Now, just think about this for a minute. You could have cut anywhere you wanted to. I can still give you a chance to check. If you want to change your mind, that's fine. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. And I want everyone to remember, I put those three cards down on the table before you cut. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. Deal them one at a time. Let's just move those slightly. There you go. One, Deal. two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. 
And I put these three cards down here at the beginning. Yeah. Now, the first card is an ace. Now, an ace can be a one or an 11. In this mm -hmm. case, I actually have it as an 11. Okay. okay? So 11 plus 9 mm -hmm. is 20. 20. And you cut 21, didn't you? Yeah. And this last one is 1, because I'm counting that as a 1, not as an 11. <laughs> that would be 21. And Wizard. then, when you can do that, that's when you pass card college. There Wizard. You go. Wizard. That's it. I'm like Harry Potter. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, it's an absolutely cracking routine, but I'd love to know your thoughts. You want to see more videos like this? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.